hey what's up guys this video is basically a sequel to my previous video creating a desktop app applications using electron and angular 2 framework in this video we'll mainly be seeing how to package and distribute the created apps so uh, let's go ahead and see how to do that first of all what i have done is i have just cloned the app from my previous video uh, I, i'll leave a link to this repo in the description below this video i just cloned this and then run an npm install inside this so now if i just run npm start you could see that it loads the application right this was the one which we built in our previous video so let's go ahead and see how to uh, package and distribute this to linux and uh, windows and mac and all the other platforms like this so to do that first of all what you need to do is you need to install a, a npm module called uh, electron packager npm install electron packager same okay let this get installed meanwhile we'll just go ahead and open this in our vs code editor okay it has finished installing as you can see we have the electron packager in our dev dependencies right now what we need to do is we just need to add a script for that to run i'll just add a package maybe and then uh, the script would be electron packager which one we need to package it is so i'm just giving it this dot since i need to package this application and i'll name the output application linux app i'll specify the platform platform equal to linux okay and then uh, i'll also specify the architecture architecture equal to x64 i'm using 64 bit uh, ubuntu system so i'm just specifying it as uh, x64 now let's go ahead and uh, run this and see what happens i'll just run npm run package yeah it got packaged right if you just go ahead and uh, see this is the one which we created linux and linux app linux x64 and then here is the linux app i'll just double click on this and you can see our application right so we have packaged our application and distributed it for a 64 bit linux operating system this is how you do it now if you notice this in the resources directory as soon as i get into app directory i could see all the code right and the entire code is accessible all my code is accessible right this shouldn't be the case right Uh, when we distribute it is to a user the user should be able to use our application but not exactly uh, access and modify the code right so we need to archive all this code securely before distributing our application to do that we will use another npm module called azr so uh, let's go ahead and do that i'll first install that module using npm install azr save and okay this is installed now what we need to do is we'll just go ahead and open up our package.json once again and then just add a script again for archive archive uh what was it is our pack uh linux app uh linux app linux x64 right? this is the name of our directory here right and then what i need to pack is the resources app directory and then the output file would be uh, app dot azr okay now let me run npm run archive it has archived it right so if i go here now i could see an app dot azr directive uh, i mean directory uh, i'll just remove this i'll just delete this and now i just have the app dot azr right uh, now if i open the app the app works fine so uh it, that, there is no you know mismatch in the files or uh, whatever right so this is how you prevent the user for a uh, user from accessing your code and then just give him a seamless experience of using your application so yeah this is what i wanted to tell you guys today for uh, other operating systems maybe for linux i'll just show you Uh, i mean for windows i'll just show you you can just give it as for windows you just give it as win32 
and the app will be a windows app and uh, the architecture if you just give it as x64 it will go do for 64 bit operating systems if you give it for all it will just do for both 64 bit and 32 bit operating systems so i just gave all and then uh, i'll go ahead and run npm run package I didn't save this I think. Yeah, it's done guys. As you can see, it's showing wrote new apps to something, right? Uh, let's go ahead and see if it's present in the directory. I'll go to this angle. And you can see right here, Windows app Win32 and Windows app X64. I'll go inside here. And uh, as usual, you could see the exe file. Where is the exe file? Yeah, here it is windows app right this is the name of the file name of a file we gave uh, so yeah this is how you do it for uh, you can also uh, use azr to archive this as well and it will run fine this is how you package and distribute your uh, electron app which you desktop app which you built with electron and uh, anglo 2 frameworks so yeah guys this is what i wanted to show you in this video i hope this video was helpful to you guys if it if you found it helpful kindly share it with someone else and uh, help them too uh, if you if you liked it just hit the thumbs up below and also subscribe to my channel to watch more videos like this uh, i'll i'll talk to you guys in the next video thanks guys bye